Hey girls, it's Monday, and being Christmas week, I thought you might want to see my Christmas tree. And before I actually start my Monday video, there's something very important I must do. Happy birthday to Lindsay! And happy Monday! Our topic is to be read month, and I guess being the first person to make a video of the week, that means I have to explain what to be read month is. To be read month it was created by this group of people who I can't tell you who they are off the top of my head, but their information is in the down bar along with further information about the contest. But essentially, it's a time to catch up on those massive reading lists that just get shoved aside throughout the year. Uh, for those of us in the WGCC, probably mostly shoved aside during National Novel Writing Month in November. So, basically, in this contest, you get to pick which level of insanity you want to do, and you can read as many as one to infinity books in the month of December, and there are level, level breakdowns. I chose the sleep much level, meaning I have to read 15 or more books in the month of December, which is insanity, and no, I don't sleep much. In fact, last night, at 1 a.m., I began book 8 of To Be Read Month, and this morning at 6 a.m., I finished book 8 of To Be Read Month, and then I slept for two hours before I got up and went to church this morning. So, I think that answers that question. But, I've read 8 books in the month of December so far. I've read 5 Vampire Academy novels. I read book three of Pretty Little Liars. I read Changes by Jim Butcher, which is book 12, I think, of The Dresden Files. And then I read this last night when I should have been sleeping, Anna and the French Kiss. And it's one of the best books, YA books I've read. Uh, it definitely goes on my top 10 YA books of 2010, which there's a list and it'll be coming shortly on my blog. Um, but anyway, really, if you want more information about my To Be Read Month, uh, Trials and Tribulations, or rather the books I've read, uh, you can check out my blog, which the link for that is also in the down bar. Fifteen books in a month is basically a book every two days, which is not how I've been handling this. I don't take two days to read a book. I read about a book a day for three or four days straight, and then my brain melts and disintegrates into small little words that are scattered and then I have to take a few days to put my brain back together into a coherent thing and then then I can start over again so I guess that's that's that uh, I feel like I haven't been particularly coherent or social for people I see but <laughs> that's what they get for being friends with me so, I actually have my 15 books lined out, and if I read my reading list as it stands now, I will probably finish the month with 18 books read. So, that's the plan. 18 books-ish in the month of December. And I'm on eight. <laughs> and it's the 20th. So, I guess, can I read 10 books in 11 days? Happy birthday to Lindsay again! And I will see Kelly on Wednesday and Kenzie on Friday. Bye.